Hey everyone, welcome to Coromon. It's kind of like Pokemon, but it's Coromon. Okay, so it's different. I uh, don't really know what to expect. Uh, someone thought I might like it, so I thought, fuck it. Why not? We'll give it a go, right? We'll try it. Knock, knock. Or sleeping bubble. There's a companion cube on our wall. And some pizza boxes? Rise and shine, honey. Didn't you hear your alarm? Don't you close your eyes again. Today's your first day. It looks soulless. I started problem. Oh. What did you put on something nice? You're gonna make a good first impression. Okay, we got some uh some customization. That's probably fine. Got some hoodies, some hoodie shorts sort of situation. Uh, some pops up here. <laughs> I look like that guy from Vanguard, don't I? Oh, that's why I like that. Um, he's a tool actually. Oh, like a little dress. Very nice. Very cute. Cute. Oh, here we go. Look, like jacketed things. Yellow and red. Very nice. Or oh, this one. Little pink. Little green. Little black. Very nice. Glasses. Do we want glasses? All of these kind of just make me look like I've got like black eyes. I don't... Oh no, maybe they kind of do look like glasses. Like in the whole ensemble. I don't want glasses. I don't need glasses. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That went out. Here we got some hair. To be honest, I'm not actually that upset with the hair given to us by default. You know? The actual default hair is actually kind of kind of good. Bids? You want bids? Oh, shit. Oh. oh. <laughs> Do I look like that? Were we meant to be a kid? Love that. That's fine. Fuck it, right? No. Does that have that? Is that, what is the red dots meant to be? Like, have we just shaved and we did it very poorly? I don't understand. <laughs> cool. Okay, red? No, very nice. That. Very spicy. Oh, and then do we want a hat anyway? Some goggles? Oh my god, some headphones? Oh, the headphones or the goggles? Oh, it's a tough decision. Little crocodile hat? Very cute. Little hats, little panda. Like a little Team Aqua hat. Sorry, I'm Team Magma. Sorry to crush your hopes. Yeah, that's the goggles. Alright, sweet. You look great. I sure do. Any your name? It's... Wait. Capital. It's Strife. Of course, as we all know, I Flappy Swarm. I was expecting to get a potion. <laughs> sure. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Do you want to try again? No, I don't. No. <laughs> no, I can't say I do. Hello. Remember there, I won this poster. It was a triumph. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. 
Eh, uh, what? Fucking bad jerk. <laughs> oh! It's my mother's room. In the history of Pokemon, has your mum ever had a room? Like an actual room? The only one I can think of is Sun and Moon, right? That's the only room I can think of. Yo, what's up? Dexter. I broke your flappy swami high school last night. I had beaten by a little bro. Wow. Can't play my fucking Nintendo anymore. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. You look sharp. Thank you. You must be excited for finally going on your become a Luxolus battle researcher. Is that what I'm doing? To celebrate your new job, I made a reservation at your favorite breakfast place. We can head there before going to the station. Okay, that sounds great. Come on. Next up, dear. Please keep an eye on the cakes. Cakes in the oven. Okay, mom. Those cakes burn. He's probably dead. Peace, little brother. Delicious breakfast later. Yeah, so here we are. Uh, breakfast at the station line of your start of your own adventure. Uh, look at you, all grown up, and you're choosing your own adventure. I'm a little sad to see you go. And I'm also very proud of you. Ever since you were little, you've been dreaming of working in the Lux Solus. I know you're ready for this. That's why I got you a little something. I've been saving up for this day, so don't you worry about, about gold. Here you go, don't spend it only one place. Oh my god, 3,000 fucking gold! Thanks, Mum, that's very sweet. I made good use of it. Glad to hear it, honey. Oh, look, I can see the train approaching. You have everything you need. Your backpack, your ticket, clean underwear. All right, Mum. I'm old enough. To take care of myself. Please, better depart. You better get on. Really, it's about you. First, a big hug. Ah. All right, bye, Mum. Goodbye, Mum. <laughs> Goodbye, dear. I don't like that my dude has dialogue. <laughs> I, I like to say my dialogue. <laughs> You gotta go through here. Hello, let me through. Oh my god, look at this! Hello, sir. It's like a nice ass station. It looks so as we offer trainers the opportunity to customize their experience. Most trainers pick normal difficulty. Selecting high difficulty could be worth the challenge. Oh. Hello. Hello, and welcome to Lux Solus Campus. How may I assist you? Hi, I'm starting as a battle researcher today. A uh, new colleague. How oh, lovely. I, I think you have a wonderful time working for Lux Solus. Yeah, well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Please give me a moment while I check your registration. Okay. Aha, I see. Looks like we still need to know your preferred difficulty. We can personalize your adventure. Most trainers go to normal difficulty, which I'd recommend for a regular experience. I take his handbook and read it. It'll explain all differences. Okay. Okay, I'll read it carefully. Certainly will. Uh, normal difficulty. Tell rules are recommended. Uh, easy difficulties for trainers who don't take it easy. 
from when we store HP when they level up. No more backtracking. Shop items are 50% cheaper. You can stock up on those items. When you're one of the core bomb faints, you don't need to use special revive item. Instead, you can feed them healing cake. Okay, no more difficulty. No extra rules are applied. Okay. Hard. Uh, this difficulty is to change you want a challenge. If one of your Coromon faints, it will leave your squad. Oh my god, like a built-in Nuzlocke. Any of the Call of the Wild, it returns to its habitat. Wow, insane. Now, a challenge difficulty in addition to the rules of the hard difficulty. These rules apply. Can escape from any battle. Real trainers stand up for themselves. Uh, you may only catch one common Pokemon in each area. Oh my god, it actually is straight up a Nuzlocke. Using a Laxler, if it faints, you are out of luck. Though you are free to capture any perfect Coromon. I don't know what that means. Do we want a Nuzlocke this? Is that stupid? Is that stupid for this? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's do it. Custom difficulty. Oh, I see. You can do a thing. No, no, no. A preset difficulty. I think... I th right? Like, that would be fun. Add some permadeath? Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm impressed. Not many trainers select that difficulty. I'm concerned that... I'm contacting a difficulty engineer. You have to configure your experience. Uh, he's here already. Oh, here he is, look. Hello there. So you decided to challenge your experience. How exciting. I'm an engineer. I will keep track of your, di your difficult experience. I want to inform you that once your Coromon faints, it will leave your squad until lower your difficulty, either easy or normal. Here, you have my invention. I'm named Luxler. Alright. You will need to use that Luxler to trigger an encounter with wild Pokemon that you may catch. You can do this once per area. This means you are not allowed to catch any wild Coromon except for perfect Coromon. Okay, I don't know what that means. The... No. I don't know. Per does it just mean like perfect stat wise? Or are we talking like a shiny? Whistle is linked in your gauntlet. First, the perfect Coromon uh, storage. It sounds frequency will lure common species which you have not have. Doesn't matter where you use Lux, Lux Law, all Coromon species in the entire area will hear it. Be careful though, the Coromon you encounter faints, it's gone. Well, we'll have to inform you. Sure you can handle that. A challenge should be a challenge, am I right? I agree. Good. I'll go make necessary arrangements now. Good luck. Need it. Thank you. You can return to the computer anytime, change your difficulty. Great. Before we continue, uh, could you tell me if you've followed Luke's training course before? Oh. Thank you. Every battle researcher requires a gauntlet in order to carry Coromon safely around Vula. We may have several color variations. Which can you choose from? One moment, please. Okay. Uh, we have a blue, green, and a red variant. Please choose what you like most. Um, well, red. Sure do. Nice, we got a gauntlet. Good choice, that one goes well with your eyes. Thank you. Uh, please take this Lux Recall Reese, a state of the art device that allows for stimulated training experience. Okay. Your first stop will be the Corbon Lab, where Gideon 
will help you get started. Uh, you can find him in your next building over. Have fun. Okay. Or oh. bit of a little bit of a lag. Looks midget of a lag. You must be the new battle researcher. I've heard so much about. He is the one to get your speed. Let me fetch him for you. Hmm. Let's get him out for lunch. There's no worries. Uh, I can take a quick break to get you everything you need. Follow me. First of all, let me grab your data chip. Your data chip. Great. What does that mean? Lift the chip for your gauntlet then. Record every common related action you take. All data is sent back to us here where we analyze it right here at this very lab. Interactive sending us uh, oodles of interesting data you receive rewarded handsomely. Great. Milestones and promotion bonuses can be redeemed right in your menu. Isn't that handy? Pretty simple stuff, I'm sure you'll figure it out all out as you get more comfortable with the job. Alright, alright. Uh, so you're always good to go. But you wouldn't get it far without Generations Employee Starter Package. Six spinners. HP cakes. And SP cakes. A Lux Recall 2. Type manual. Type manual is a very special individual throughout your journey. I suggest taking a quick gander at it before setting out. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Normal. Two times damage to nothing. Half damage from moon. And two times damage from poison. Electric. Two times damage to water. From electric and water, five. Okay. Does damage, half damage, damage from. I don't know. Triangle and smaller triangle? Like. <laughs> Ghost! Okay, so ghost. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Ghost is the moon, right? Sand is that little triangle. Fire, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, ice. Okay. Water. Magic. Okay. Magic has no weaknesses, but damage. He does damage to Ghost. Okay. Uh, foul. Two times damage to Water. Oh, water fucking sucks, eh? Heavy. Okay. Air, which is poison, which we had suspected, and cut, <laughs> and just cut. Hmm? Oh, I know you must be excited to. You must get your very own Coromon. Right, you went downstairs. That's pretty much it for me. I gotta get back to work now. Let new traits discover themselves, you know. Oh, go go downstairs. Is It judders from time to time. I don't know why it should not be juddering, right? Like, is that just a problem with the game? I feel like it should not judder at all. Ah, uh, that smell. Smell of a starry eye battle researcher. Wish you wouldn't smell me. Yeah, you received your first Coromon. Just hold tight a moment. While well, I finish updating the Coromon. Configurator, I skip. That should do it. Now we introduce myself. I'm Nelson, head of the Coromon Lab. Let's connect you with Coromon. Uh, we'll run services and tests 
to find out which one's most suited for your personality. Oh wait. That's that's the self esteem I, I love to hear. Enthusiasm even love to hear. Let me just hop over there and take quick uh quick measurements. Let me see. Okay. Smells, yes, you certainly do smell. Yes. Oh but okay. Now comes the fun part. This machine ready to scan your brain waves. Please enter. This thing? Please keep still during the scan, otherwise you might lose an arm. Or worse, damage my machine. Alright, let's do this thing. Analysis. Compile. And ask you a series of questions while the machine measures your brain activity. Question one. Uh, you encounter a wild Koromon. What is your first reaction? Uh, attack it? I see. I would do that too. Question two. What is your motivation for becoming a better researcher? I don't know. I like Pokemon games. I want to have a good living. Uh, good motivation right there. Uh, question three. Which of these attacks appeal to you your most? In a piece, puffing up, fiery breath. Well, I mean, fiery breath from right. Not my favorite, but let's continue. Question four. Which of these colors appeal to you most? Crimson red, baby. Dalamood red. Uh, that's the same color as my living room. Damn, dude, that's a bright living room. <laughs> Final question. Describe your ideal first date. Ideal first date? Museum tour? That sounds fun. A candlelit dinner? I don't fuck sky I don't want to skydive. The fuck do I want to skydive? Uh, let's say a museum tour. I like that. That's fun. Ah, uh, so romantic. All done. Watch your step. That wasn't hard, now was it? He's cake. Fantastic. He's be excited to hear the results. Stand in front of the hatch. Of the hatches. You ready? Here are your options. Would these be different? Depending. Announcing the fire Coromon. Toruga. Karma's very strong, loves to battle, and can learn powerful moves. Nivaga, a warrior to type Karma. Karma has high endurance in battles. That lasts most ever, Karma. And finally, the Ice Karma. Chub Zero. Chub Zero. The Karma is a jack of all trades, the perfect balance between offense and defense. Now the results of your analysis. The algorithm points to a clear winner. Fly a Koromon Toga. It'd be a good match for you. Why don't you take a closer look? Trust your instincts to pick the one you like most. But why ask me all the questions if you just could have showed me anyway? I want to see a picture of it. Like, I can't really tell what the fuck it is. Oh, look, it's like a little shark. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> oh, it's really cool. Whoa, War had like 5,000 weaknesses, man. <laughs> like, I don't know about that. Uh, echo Chains. This guy, <laughs> he's super cute. Chub Zero. Ice type. This type is pretty interesting, right? Attack focused. Oh my god, look, it's a little fucking turtle. Oh, it's a little fucking turtle. Oh, it's cute. Okay, I mean... Yeah, was there any... Was there any fucking question? My personality test, after all. 
Give a nickname? Yes. Turn to miss. Okay. Yeah, Griffin never lies. Dogger seems to have a stream layer. Great. Very useful indeed. No, but you won't get far out there without just one karma. Take this patter bit for extra protection. Look at the pattern bit. Out of it joins your squad. Now you got a car, man. Let's give that data chip of yours a test run. I think your Lux recall takes us into the battlegrounds. Whoa. Here we are. You prepare for your first battle? You have a battle? Are you an expert? Don't worry, I'll be fair. I brought my nearby. Which is the same level as your Turga. Helpful tip. If you hold down the skills, your skills, you get a detailed overview of their effects. Be sure to try try it out and leave your uh, if you're confused what skill does. Alright, give it your all. Ready? Let's jam. What if I just die immediately? <laughs> I got two Pokemon. Oh my god, look how fucking cute he is. Oh, he's so fucking cute. Okay, so what do we do? Battle? We have Slam. We have Cute Pose. Okay, so Cute Pose. Who strikes a Cute Pose, lowering the defense of your opponents. Well, we're already cute. We don't need no Pose, okay? Alright, Slam it. Really resisted. My roll. Bam. He's decreasing my attack. Slam. Oh my god, we're gonna be here forever. His shark's much much bigger than me. I do like the shark. I wish I also had a shark. But do I wish I had a shark more than Pedimus? No, sir. But get wrecked. Oh, Pedimus. You're waking some potential. Oh! Three stat points. Interesting. Okay, let's put one in HP. But. Wait, are we, are we an attack or a special attack? Good. <laughs> I don't know if we're a special attacker or a normal attacker. Oh, and then he gains regular stats, increases anyway. Nice, okay. Cinder. Launch a small burning cinder at the target, worth with a 10% chance to burn the target. Nice. What's that achieved? Impressive. It's 73 bucks. Well done. Your crew and are going to make quite a team. I just know it. Remember, you can visit the trainer hub anytime and restore your squad back to full health. Looks like zip. I'm ready to catch some crew on my own. Absolutely. Start exploring Radiant Park. I'm on it. Wait, oh, hey, there's one more thing. I advise you to pass, to not pass the bridge yet. Probably won't pass that point are generally less uh, beginner friendly. Uh, Larry from R&D Lab can hook you up with a gauntlet mode. Keep you safe. Find the lab rating puck. Best of luck. Wow, oh, you're free. There's a thing up here. HP cake. 
Um, okay, so how do I... Okay, there we go. We got this thing as well. We got a pad a bit. Okay, so it's like a little, like a little ant on like a string. He just gave us this. Like, <laughs> like I don't know why he gave us this. Oh, robber. Okay. I get the sense, is this in a, on a mobile game? Is this a mobile game? These sort of things are often mobile games, right? Like a 10 buck mobile game. It seems like a very mobile game layout. Maybe we can change that in the options. Alright. Oh, Jesus Christ, why does it lag like that? If it's a mobile game, it should not lag like that, surely. Let's <laughs> do. Fast travel system. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, there's a thing there. Let's grab that real quick. Um, okay, well, I guess next time we'll head into the park and we'll catch a dude. This is this is insane difficulty. Right? This is full Nuzlocke mode. It means we dead. We dead. All right. So we gotta you gotta use a lure. We gotta remember how this functions. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are excited for this. I hope Coromon is a a thing that people want to watch and enjoy. Let me know in the comments below by liking the video. I appreciate all those things. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.